What's up guys? Tonight we're going to be replacing the old raggedy shower head that comes standard with most RVs with a new oxygenic shower head. We've heard some great things about it. Um, it's funny how much you miss the little things like a decent shower head until you spend a lot of time in the RV and uh, take some showers with a real crappy shower head. So we're looking forward to seeing what this thing's going to do. We've got an 11 day trip coming up so we're going to have full hookups at a couple of spots. So uh, we kind of wanted to have a nice a nice hot shower. It's going to be pretty cold. We're going to be in Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina. So uh, looking forward to getting this thing installed tonight and uh, having some nice showers there on our upcoming trip. So the replacement is pretty basic. Um, it just takes a couple of hand tools and you can get the shower, shower head replaced. Um, it's not a complicated process at all, really. So uh, we're going to show you how we're going to take care of this tonight. All right, we're going to give you a comparison of the water pressure. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, show you the water pressure with a standard shower head. So, you take a look right here. So, there's that. That's the standard RV shower head. Now, we're going to get that thing off there and replace it with the oxygenics. First thing you're going to want to do is come in and disconnect right underneath where your shower head connects uh, underneath right here. This one was just hand tight, so wasn't tight at all, so no problem getting it loose. I'm going to remove the old shower head. Now we're going to remove the hanger for the old shower head. Now the new hanger, you can either use two screws through the back, and it also comes with some 3M adhesive tape. Uh, that you could put up on the back. So what we're going to do is kind of do a mixture of both. Um, I'm going to line up my bottom hole where my old hanger was and then we're also going to use the 3M tape on the back to secure the top of it. But before we do that, I want to fill that hole in so I don't get any water down behind the behind the shower pan. So I'm going to take some silicone sealant just put some silicone sealant right behind that. Just fill that hole in with some silicone first. Next thing I'm going to do is take a strip of 3M adhesive and put it right on the back. One there. Now they, they give you long screws to attach this. My standard screws were only like this. So that's a pretty big difference. Um, I don't want to take a chance on running into something on the on the other side of my of our shower pan. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it with the original screw. Um, it's white, so it doesn't look the greatest, but it'll do the job. We're going to peel our 3M adhesive tape. Make sure our hole is lined up on the bottom. And we're going to push that right on. Right there. And then reinstall the screw. Now we're going to get our shower head ready to install. So this comes with the on and off switch. So you can turn your water off. 
try to help your tanks last a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the bottom of the shower head. And all this stuff just needs to be hand tight. You don't need to go crazy with it. And then we're going to get our hose ready. So it comes with the orange tape over the top of that and that's to keep you from losing the rubber seals that are down in there. Make sure those rubber seals are in place before you start hooking all this up or uh, you're going to have some big time leaks. So I'll just take one end off for now. Go ahead and put that on the shower head. I'm going to run the other end down through our hanger. And that's it. It's no more difficult than that to replace a very poor shower head with a very good shower head. So now we're going to stir up the water and uh, see what kind of difference this makes. There you go. Man, what a difference. Very good water pressure. Compared to the old one. Shut it off. And there you have it. Actually, upon further review, um, if you just use one screw and the adhesive tape, the adhesive tape doesn't really stick to the surface very well. So I went ahead and put that my other screw back in the top. Um, I mean, this is not hard to screw into, so, and that provides a much stronger, a much stronger attachment point. It was starting to pull, it was starting to pull forward a little bit because of the, the weight of the shower head hanging on it. Actually, it was starting to pull it away from the, away from the shower wall. So, it's super simple. This just, your share your hanger, just simply unscrews off of here. So, it's, it's super easy and probably a much better, gives you a much better uh, anchor point there. So this does a couple things. Actually, it not only is it just a much better shower head, but it also extends up a lot higher than what the standard shower head did. So you can get underneath it a little bit easier. Um, you get a lot better water pressure. So, uh, you know, I guess that's a sign you're getting old when you get super excited about a new shower head. But uh, we're really excited to try this one out. I hope you guys found this informative. Uh, it's a super easy upgrade for any RV. So uh, appreciate it, and thanks for watching.